Hello, Vicka. So you love the old VTX 1800, but you realize they haven't made one in 16 years? Suzuki M109R. G-forces that would make Chuck Yeager blush. Big fat twin pipes coming out the side. I will say they do stick out a little bit, so when you gotta put your foot down, you're kinda putting your foot around it. Even though you got the heat shield, you still end up kinda putting your foot way around it. So that's a little awkward. But other than that, your uh, riding position's in the shape of a C. Very much like my VTX 1800C. Coating the cylinders. S-C-E-M, they call it. And it actually helps dissipate the heat. S-C-E-M also creates a tighter piston to cylinder clearance. It helps lower the center of gravity of the motor. Look into my eye. And dry sump lubrication allows a lower crankshaft and reduces the engine height, giving it a lower center of gravity. All right, we're gonna take it on the highway and hit blast off, see what she does. Let's go for a ride. 127 horses, 118 foot-pounds of torque. So I put a set of 50-50 tires on it and uh, I'm gonna stand up on the pegs now and... No, I'm just kidding. Sweet soundtrack on this bike. Turn signals are not self-canceling. It's got a nice wide seat. The seat's very comfortable. It's stock. Alrighty. Take it on the highway, see what she does here. Give it the beans. They'll start out in first. And they'll just wind up a second from a dead slow here. See how it does. Hello, Vicka. Oh, yeah. If you love the VTX 1800 acceleration, you will adore this. I mean, adore it. I like the fact they give you a tachometer. Looks like it's a five speed shaft drive. But it's a wide ratio fifth gear because I'm at 3,500 RPMs and I'm almost at 80. So, yeah, definitely got a wide ratio there on the fifth gear. Very similar to the VCX 1800 in a lot of regards. Uh, yeah, when you hammer it in fifth, you're going to feel a shudder and it's still going to go forward really well. Uh, I love this bike. Uh, one hammer and you're in love. With curves that would make Madonna blush and a 0-60 to 60 faster than Joe Pesci's temper in a Scorsese film, this bike is amazing. One hammer and you're in love. I love the 240 on the back. I love the look of it. I've got a 240 on the back of my Victory Hammer. Where you do lose a little bit with the 240 is in the corner, so you do have to fight that rear tire a little bit. Uh, 240 on my Victory Hammer. i got a 200 on the back of my Triumph Thunderbird. Cornering, yeah, you fight them a little bit, but it's not bad. It really isn't. This thing is a very low center of gravity, and even though it's 764 pounds, you don't feel it. It carries itself really, really well. Really well. Let's do another highway run real quick. And then we're going to do a little slow maneuver, but I already know slow maneuvering is going to be a breeze. Uh, brakes could be a little more bitey. I mean, you got twin rotors in the front, but still, for some reason... They're not as bitey as I would think they would be. I don't know if that makes sense. Especially on a new bike. And they are, you know, rotors are warm, brakes are warmed up. I don't, I don't know if they shouldn't be that hard, but I guess they are. It's a heavy bike. It's not intolerable before anyone starts, you know, giving me any trouble. It is not intolerable. For sure, for sure. Third gear and yeah, I feel like I'm not even taxing this motor. I don't redline till 7,500. It goes up to 9,000 RPMs. I know the compression ratio is over 10 to 1. Four valves per cylinder. You can feel it. This bike's not top heavy at all. It's got a 5.2 gallon tank. I believe 40 miles per gallon if you're judicious. But a 5.2 gallon tank, 180 mile fuel range before you need to look for a gas station. Which on something like this, is that's a pretty good deal. But there's not really a lot about this bike that's going to make you show really any restraint really whatsoever. You are not going to restrain yourself. Part chrome, part blacked out beauty. There is one beautiful steel raven behind me. Quoth the raven, nevermore. Well, you're not going to want to anyway. 
the thing is, even going quick, it doesn't feel like you're going quick. It really doesn't. The bike's very deceptive. It handles the speed so effortlessly with such grace and stability that you really seriously don't feel like you're going that fast. You are not going to want to behave yourself on this bike. I'm warning you right now. This is just like my VTX 1800, only it feels, believe it or not, it feels like it's got a little more to it, which it does. On paper, it's got 28 more horses than the VTX 1800. Wow. Yeah, I'm impressed. Effortless speed, grace, and power. That's what I have to say about the Suzuki M109R. Effortless, speed, grace, and power. With really good fuel range with that 5.2 gallon tank. Balance is beautiful. Uh, effortless. The whole package is just awesome. It's just awesome. I'm serious. I mean, it's like, there is not, there aren't too many bikes out there that's going to give this thing any trouble at all. There aren't too many bikes out there that are going to leave you in the dust if you're on this thing, I'm, I'm quite sure. You probably struggle against like a VMAX or something like that, but traditional muscle cruisers, ah, eh, you ain't got to worry. If you look on Suzuki's website for 2024, you won't find the Boss. But you will find the 109R with some of the accent features like the Boss, like blacked out forks, blacked out pipes. They give you a little bit of that sense without making a whole Boss model, looks like, for 2024. It's not as much of an unrefined brute as the VTX 1800. This has a little more poise. It's got more horsepower. Zero to 60 is sitting around 3.6 seconds. It was fast. And uh, the brakes though, man, the brakes. I would have given a little more stopping power, maybe three pistons on each rotor. Maybe I'd have done that. Other than that, I can't find a whole lot wrong with this bike. If you're in love with the VTX 1800 series and you're looking for that answer because they haven't made it in 16 years, this is it. And that's my review of the 2024 Suzuki M109R TG Motor Rider. Signing off. Oh, I wasn't. Uh, I wasn't cheating. It was just a, just a test ride. As I wandered, nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently rapping, rapping on my chamber door. "'Tis the wind," I said, and nothing more. Quoth the raven, nevermore.